hey, hey, I'm Lily, and you tuned in to Lily's Raw Reactions. Well, over here, I give you my raw, raw reaction. Some people like it. Some people don't. <laughs> Let's say it's been a lot of people that is not feeling it. But guess what? We are not stopping because you don't like it. We're keeping it moving, and eventually, you may just like a video or two, okay? Everybody's entitled to their own opinion. Now, let me put this disclaimer out here because I see I got a let this be known again these are reactions that i do these are my personal opinions these are my personal experiences i've stated that in so many videos that i base my reaction on my personal experience now i know i get a little long-winded when i kind of talk about my kids and my personal um experiences and stuff like that and i know you guys uh, tune in to hear and see a reaction about the person that I'm talking about. But that's how I base my reactions. You know, is I, you know, you feeling it or you're not feeling it. And you know, I'm not trying to run any, anyone away. I, I can't make everybody feel how, how I'm coming. So, you know, that being said, maybe I just need to put a disclaimer in the description that I do talk about my family and I do get long-winded about my family because I love my family to death. I know no one do, does it the same, but you know, we still have some set morals and and things that we do that everybody can agree on that we figured that is the right way you know what i'm saying so at the end of the day i have nothing against the ladies that i talk about no i'm not only going to be just talking about the three mummies i'm going to be talking about other things but at the end of the day i'm still a mama i'm still a wife i still have things to, you know a lot of other things that's going on this is just my little hobby this is not a full-time job for me so I got to get caught up on the mummies where I can move to other things. And I will be doing other things on my channel. I'm just getting started. Like, this is not the end for me and everything. Most of my subs are here tuning in about the mummies. But I am going to switch it up just a little for, you know, get a little fresh air. And then we come back. But we're, not, we're never going to stop doing anything on the mummies until they stop giving us shit to talk about. So, that being said, you know what I'm saying? There's nothing against the people that come in my comments that don't agree with me. I don't expect people to agree with me, okay? Um... You know, your comments are welcome regardless if you agree with me or not. So, um, yeah, sometimes some of y'all just catch me on the wrong day and I'll be like, oh, I got fried today, sway. So, yeah, that being said, I'm not a mean person. And I have nothing against these ladies. This is just a freaking reaction, okay? My personal reaction. And a lot of my subs are here because how authentic I am and real I am. I'm not trying to bash them. I'm not trying to come off as bashing them. This is just how I would talk to one of my family members, period, okay? So, that being said long ass intro but uh yeah let's get into the video strong mommy chrissy's little sponsor thing commercial that she did and jazzy's blue apron so strong mommy chrissy did hers on sam's salsa and jazz did hers as everybody know with the blue apron now you know it's a lot of back and forth in the youtube street saying chrissy did hers better which chrissy did have a nice video now i'm just gonna say this jazz video wasn't bad it just was stuff that jazz could have took out and stuff jazz could have added to make hers better it wasn't a horrible video at all because like i said in my previous video that jazz little video made me go over there and check blue apron out regardless of the fact it made me go check them you know check them out so jazz's video she did introduce the stuff when she first came in and everything, but like a lot of people were saying, and I feel too, that she could have did more talking in her video, explaining things. Uh, I think she added, or well, I think they added some stuff that wasn't originally in the box to go with the uh, meal that they was preparing. It kind of looked like it with those onions, but I love onions on my burger. Oh my God. Oh, that's... Oh. But anyway, um... She could have did without Chris in there. I also seen that little blooper that I really didn't pay attention to at first, but I paid attention to it after I started seeing people talking about the little blooper with Chris and everything. But, you know, Jazz thought that was cute to put in there. And it would have been cute if it was just her own personal video that she was doing and not a sponsored video. But I think she should have left Chris out. You know, I really do think it would have been best to leave him out. But, you know, Jazz wanted to include Chris. She think Chris is the king and the sun and the stars and the moon and the sky. And she want to uh, have him in there because she think he's the best cook in the whole wide world. So, you know, of course she wanted to have him in there. She didn't have a thinking cap on. She wasn't thinking. You know, it's just trial and error. So, you know, for future references, hopefully Jazz would look at this and take this as a learning experience and not do that again. Um, you know, with all the little flaws that, you know, she did in that video. Um, 
hopefully she will because from what she talking she feel like she just did her super best and you know it was nothing wrong with the video instead of just accepting the constructive criticism and everything and just using it to work toward doing a better video uh you know a, a better sponsored video and then you know just just rough you know just just uh do like a little rough draft you know do some of your uh favorite products or not even your favorite name brand products just get um i'm pretty sure plenty of her subs sell things you know what i'm saying like i'm pretty sure jazz has a lot of subs that sell eyelashes and tattoo uh baby hairs and nails and fingernail polish just get one of them and just be like look i chose you to do a sponsorship for you know i want to represent you you know just for you know trial and error for me not you know just to you know say that you're nothing or nothing like that you know what i'm trying to do and use you as a guinea pig but you know just kind of spruce it up be like you know i'm doing this for the month for my subs and i just want to use you and then just go and use that person's product to you know get your more practice in on how to do sponsorships and stuff like that you know what i'm saying and doing that every month you know, that's just like giving back to your subs. That's say a whole lot within itself if you take some of your subs. Because I'm, I'm, no, it's probably a shitload of jazz uh, subs that have their own businesses that sell stuff and stuff like that. So, you know, do that type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? You know, we can't get paid for everything. But at the end of the day, that's money within itself. You know what I'm saying? Because you're practicing on your, um... You know, you're practicing on how you want to represent, you know, your channel and your videos for bigger sponsors and stuff. It's just a little, you know, practice. But, yeah, so, um, moving along to Strong Mommy Chrissy. Everybody was like, you know, Strong, uh, Strong Mommy Chrissy about to get the money. And she with fans and this, that, and the other. And I'm not here to hate on her, throw no shade, but I'm just going to call a thing a thing. Um, Sam's and other companies have, I don't know if you guys heard of it, but it's like, I mean, I don't know detail for detail, but I know just a little snippet um they have programs and stuff like freebies and free stuff and stuff like that where they will send you free stuff to give reviews and i've seen it so many places you know and websites that i've been on especially like with food and um like medicine and and baby products and stuff like that they send you the free stuff that plus they send you a shitload of coupons and gift certificates and shit that you could purchase offline and shit you could go in the store and damn near get the shit for free and exchange for uh in, in exchange for a review and to me uh even though chrissy's little commercial was bomb it was nice it was neat it was convincing it convinced me i shopped at i shop at sam's and i was like i don't you know salsa on eggs is fucking good she was right about that but i'm like oh, okay next time i go to sam's i'm gonna get some of that salsa well i eat any kind of salsa but okay i'll get some of that salsa and i caught the little nugget that she did when she wanted to add the grandma in there mm, i got my eyes crooked at you did you really just add that on there just to spruce it up but it was cute it was a cute video it was a clean video the lighting was good everything was good I, hell i don't know if i could do it but she did a very 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 good job uh of course we're going to compare it to jazz just to be cute just to be funny you know what i'm saying but in reality everybody was just kind of making it a big thing oh she got a big sponsorship just because she did that video does not mean that she has fans behind her like i say it's companies that will reach out to people they actually work with the big companies like they work with fans they work with pampers they work with target and stuff like that so they will um send you stuff out to do a review and they really getting the big money and you just getting like the free stuff which is a, a good start is nothing wrong with that at all hell nothing wrong with it at all but um just because she did that does not mean that she's in sponsorship you know with them and they personally reached after her sam's personally reached out to her and this that and the third uh or whatever because if you notice like a lot of people that have these sponsorships like with the big brand 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 they usually will put you on their instagram put you on their youtube or put you on their website where you know they'll have like a little video up there at the top of you doing um the commercial and everything which well actually some of them look like they have their own people to come come to you or you go to them and y'all actually do the uh little commercial so they can put it on there but i don't know i don't know too much into it but i do kind of know and familiar with that part 
other situation that they will send you stuff it is uh, send you free stuff in exchange for a review i know that most definitely they will and it does not make it mean that you got paid thousand dollars two thousand dollars uh five thousand dollars it means that you just got some free shit for you and your family plus some coupons and good shit to go to the store and get more free shit okay and um I just felt like it was Chrissy's way of showing Jazz, this is how you do it. Which, it was nothing wrong with that. It was, yeah, a little petty. But, yeah, I feel like that's what she did. Because it's just so a coincidence how Jazz lost her sponsorship. And Chrissy, all of a sudden, just come out the woodwork with this right here. You know what I'm saying? Like, Chrissy, was that always there? Had it been sitting in the, on the back burner? And you was like, fuck it, let me go ahead and do this. Or did you just actually do it on your own? Because I actually clicked in that link, and I scrolled down and seen Chrissy's review, along with others' reviews, other reviews, what people were sent, what people were sent, um, the product to review, Okay. So, it does not mean that Chrissy got, I'm not counting her pockets, and I don't want her not to get the $1,000 or the $2,000 or whatever, but I'm just saying, it's like, it's not like people just making it, like, it's just big, big sponsorship and everything, because like I say, when it's kind of like something big like that, they will, you know, they don't really need your shit, they can send their own people in there to do that or whatever, and if they don't send their own people in there to do that, they will put you on the main front, you know what I'm saying, they will put you... Um, like, on their Instagram, they would put you on their Instagram and stuff like that or whatever, girl, and, yeah, but anyway, um, not knocking it for her, because, you know, that may turn into something even bigger for her, and it's good, because, you know, she need all the money she can get, and to feed her kids, and give her kids all kind of luxury stuff, and all this stuff, and buy some more wigs and stuff like that, no shade, but, yeah, you know, Chrissy likes to be jazzy and cute and stuff, so, we don't really know what Jazz gonna do with her money. She probably buy another dog or something or whatever, okay? For the most part, Chrissy, Chrissy takes care of her kids and do what she gotta do and stuff like that for, for her kids. We, you know, she ain't perfect. She do little trifling shit, too. We just don't see it on camera, you know? Just because Chrissy got a big-ass house and come over here all clean face and stuff like that don't mean she ain't cussing her kids out, out when the camera's off and shit, you know? She a little smarter than Jazz, okay? She'll cuss them out and it looks so cute. Boy, if you don't get your big head nigga itself down you know on camera but yeah but you know we do what we do we gonna compare this content for us it's a little joke of the joke this shit is not serious it's just fucking entertainment nobody hates these ladies personally of course a lot of people dislike the shit how uh jazz treat her kids and stuff like that which we've seen on camera in plenty of lives i'm not taking up for jazz i'm just saying we have seen jazz do some trifling ass shit and jazz is still doing some trifling ass motherfucking shit you know you can just you know you just can't take this shit just because she got a new house and new surroundings and shit and she want to beat it but you know you can't take that shit out of you you know nothing changes overnight nothing changes overnight okay just like the same thing i said about chris everybody like crazy so changed and this and uh yeah 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 give me another year or two and then i'll be saying something different because i need to see some consistency and everything um from her because i people don't be changing overnight honey just because she done made a couple videos and she don't go live no more where y'all can see the actual shit was going on in her house don't mean that she like this or just because she got some in-house dick don't mean that she ain't thought the end around here on plenty of fish still like it, it does not mean nothing you know and at the end of the day nobody it's perfect but i'm just saying i mean she ain't the queen and she's not perfect okay but um and i know a lot of people gonna get mad when i say that because i noticed anytime i make a video about chrissy and i say something that's the opposite of what the fuck people want to hear they be unsubbing all up in the comments saying shit and i don't really care because um you're not making me feel away i'm just stating the thing you know i'm stating the shit for what it is for what i feel like it is not for what it is but i'm saying for what from what i see and you know if you just don't if you depressed about it and you just like oh i want to unsub the hood just because she had this one video that i didn't agree with it well okay you 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 know what i'm saying that uh, that's just you you know what i'm saying because me personally i'm not gonna unsub to somebody just i'm sub to all those ladies and i'm not gonna uh and i was sub to them before i became a reactor i'm not gonna unsub to them because they have a video that i don't like chrissy have plenty of videos that i don't be caring for especially those lies when she do in the car i don't care for that shit now her little cooking and shit she be doing with the kids and shit i i like looking at stuff like that but when she do those lies in the car i don't be watching that shit i just wait to catch a little snippet of something from my fellow reactors and give them the view and everything 
Now, I will go and like it. I like anybody's video. Like, people got this thing, you know, with cloud chasers and stuff like that. I still like their video. I still come in on their video. That's anybody. Even my subs. If I catch that you sub to me, I'm going to sub right back to your ass. Because, hell, you might decide you want to do a channel in a couple months or whatever. And I'm going to be right there looking at you, seeing you on my timeline, and seeing you, you know, uh, I'm already sub. I don't got to sub. I'm already sub. So, I subs right back to your ass. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, like I said, I want to sum this up. Jazz video had a lot of little flaws to it and stuff and i hope jazz work on that for future references and don't be going on there trying to blast the sponsor because you didn't agree and yeah jazz you really did do too much you know i don't know if it was the uh, emotional shit from the baby and the pregnancy and stuff like that but or the pressure you needed that money and stuff but that wasn't good so hopefully uh jazz will learn from this and she will do better next time and jazz really take that as an idea to get some of your subs and promote their stuff you know i know you can't promote everybody's stuff because you will be broke you know what i'm saying because you are trying to make money on here but like you know uh every once in a while get one or two subs and and and, and promote their stuff and stuff like that they make you good with your subs and have a better relationship and bond and connect and stuff with your subs and stuff jazz or it's Chrissy, girl, you just do what you do. You know what I'm saying? They gonna praise you one week and then be like this right here with you the next week or whatever because, you know, she perfect patty over there. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man, she keep throwing that hella motherfucking shade. She throw that shade, baby. She throw that shade like nobody. Girl, you know we caught what you said the other day. Bitch, don't be feeling about shit. And then you gonna try to correct it and say bitches out there don't be stealing my shit and one of my subs uh i don't even know her name off top but yeah she said that and i said exactly that too so yeah you threw that shade out there she always shading jazz and jazz not gonna say shit jazz you can say something you ain't gotta be fucking scared of chrissy or mean if you want to say something on your channel but you don't want to look bad i know you don't want to look bad because you don't want people coming for your head talking about chrissy way better mother than you and all that fuck all that jazz if you want to say something you can fucking say something if you want to okay don't be scared of chrissy all right but anyway, that being said, I'm out. Y'all have a good Sunday, and hopefully y'all have a good week, and let's stay safe, and um, yeah, uh, prayers go out to my sub. I think her name is Nicole E. Her and her daughter has uh, Delta, the little strand of, um, of Delta that's running, I think, from the coronavirus or something like that. And, um, you know, prayers to her. You know, she be in my comments. She be in a lot of reactors' comments and stuff like that. And she just really put a lot of stuff in perspective for me. I'm back here being more extra safe and trying to stay out the way and stay out these stores than ever now. So, yeah, prayers to her and her daughter and they recover and get well real, real, real soon. Okay? So, yeah, that being said, I'm out.